Hello and welcome back to the channel. I was watching YouTube the other day and I seen a video Quinn put up on Blondie Hacks. Um, she's fantastic, really worth watching. She made a a, um, a tool post up for a bench grinder. Um, I've had this one for years, it's an 8 inch grinder. Um, it was originally my dad's and dad passed it on to me and then it's, it's there's nothing wrong with a grinder by any means but since I've been playing around with the shaper and doing different angles and grinding up different tools it's I find it hard to get my angles right so after watching Quinn a oh, bit of inspiration uh, the way she made her her table for a grinder was fantastic it's really it's simple it's easy and it's really effective so I want to try and do this without having to go to the shops and buy anything so I'm rattling through all the crap I got here which is quite a bit um, and I'll come up with this plate that I was stuffing around with on the shaper the other day and I thought it's heavy it's 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 big enough um, what my plan is I'll mount it with an arm off the end here off this underneath which will give me my height adjustment and be able to do the angles on and then I'll use a shaper and, and put a groove in it that I can run a, a jig across which will have my angle set right on it and um, hopefully it all should work um, and once I dress the wheel up I should be able to get my angles really close I'm hoping so I thought nothing to lose everything to gain great inspiration from Quinn so I'll have a crack at it Okay, little update where I'm up to. I did have a little bit of trouble with um, trying to shape a tool right. Um, as you can probably see, I've got a square on this side. And this side over here, I have to retie and grind the tool and just take it at that edge. Um, yeah, we'll just, I'll go down a little bit deeper yet because I really want to have a positive fit for the slide there um, for the jig when I make the jig up I really want a nice deep groove so there's no chance of it slipping out while I'm growing the tool and I think it just make a better job of it so that's where we're up to
little indicator. I made this a while ago. It's um, it's actually a tire depth gauge that I modified. I'll show you what it is. Oh, it is just a little wild frame box that sits in, spring loaded return. It's um, yeah, just push on the end and it. Zero yeah. out. It's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's dead accurate, it's got its faults. But for non critical stuff, it's, it's quite handy. Um, and cheap. A couple of bucks on eBay. Bit of time, couple of magnets. Um, bit of stuff around on the lathe and. Yeah, that's all it is. Quite simple. If you want to know more about it, and I'll pull it apart and show you how I made it. Just yeah, if you want to leave a comment, I'll just yeah show you what it's all about. Okay, I'm doing the final pass now on the depth. Uh, I've still got to take the tool out, re-grind it, and cut this shoulder in. Square the shoulder up. I reckon it's going to be deep enough. Um, there's no plans for this in whatsoever. It's just make it as I go. And, yeah. Why not? Why do you have plans when you just make it as you go? That's my theory. It'll either work or it won't. So I'll finish this pass, this cut, and then I'll regrind the tool and I'll bring you back when I'm screwing that other edge in. Right now yeah, we're on the final pass. And hopefully this should make it should make it the finish one. All going well. It's not going to be dead smooth on the bottom, but close enough for what I want it for. This is a good thing about having a show, but it's just, just a matter of grinding the tool to what you want. And every time you grind one, you're, you're getting better and better. There we go, all done. Find me brush wherever I dropped it last. Probably hanging up on the floor. That is a mystery. Look at that, it is hanging up on the floor. Not bad. Need better light on this. I wouldn't say it's a million dollar job, far from a million dollar job. But it'll work fine for what I want it for.
Love it. Well, I made a stuff up. Um, when I was cleaning off the top of this, I couldn't work out why it was um, the cup was getting lighter when it shouldn't have been. Turns out that I didn't quite nip up the uh, the bolt that holds the tool in a tool holder, and uh, was slowly creeping up. So definite rookie screw up. But anyway, job's fixed now. But it had me buggered for a while what was happening. But anyway, we've, we've solved the issue and onwards and upwards. Okay, here we are where I'm up to now. I've uh, done the top table here. Um, made up the bottom of the slide, which fits beautifully. Uh, it's nice and flush. Um, runs very smooth. It's got a tiny bit of play, which you've got to have a little bit, I guess. Um, but it's nowhere near excessive. Um, so far it hasn't come up too bad. I'm thinking that this hole here, I've got to take a bit out for the uh, for the wheel to go into. I'm hoping I might be able to get rid of a bit of that hole when I do that. Um, I don't really want to weld it up and then machine the top off it again because it'll warp the plate and I don't really want to do that. So, next up I think I'll concentrate on doing the mount for the bottom. Um, it's not the best of finishes on the bottom, it's pretty wild, but out of sight, out of mind they say in it. Hmm. So, so far it hasn't ended up in the bin, which is a big bonus for me. And, yeah, I'll get started on the bottom section. Like I said before, I've got no drawings, no plans, no nothing. I'm just making as I go, just winging it all the way. Um, sometimes that's the best way it works out for me, just, just luck. And come across a problem along the way, you've got to solve the problem. That's, yeah, that's, that, to me, that's a good thing. So... Anyway, I'll get started on the bottom section. Lovely little curly chips coming off there.
here I've got a dial indicator set up. I'm just cutting a quick groove in there to um, where the mount for the grinder goes onto. Mount this to the grinder. Um, just cut a little rebate in it so it'll have a positive fit. Okay, we've had a bit of a stuff up. I've, I've lost some footage um, that I thought I got, but obviously I'd screwed up and done something wrong. But anyway, um, where I'm up to now is I've cut the slide out where it goes over the, um, the wheel. I did screw up when I, when I was clamped it in the vise. I left a couple of marks, which I'm not very happy about, but not worth throwing it in the bin for that. Um, I've got to make it a bit shorter. You can hopefully see you can see a mark I put down here now. Just got to cut it off there. Um, yeah, you know the rebates in the back. Um, so I'm going to cut this off in power hacksaw. The way I done this was I put in a power hacksaw and just let it cut down down to the depth. And then done another couple of cuts, there was that hole there if you remember. Cut down to the hole, and knocked them couple of bits out, then just fold it flat. So it didn't, up, didn't come up too bad. Good enough what I want it for. We'll do the job. So I'll go with the hacksaw now and I'll trim that off. There's no real need for it to be so wide, but yeah, I'll just trim that off and then it'll fit in there just nice. The way I normally cut these, if I'm cutting something flat, um, I stick, doesn't matter what it is, just something to raise the back edge up. Um, and all you seem to end up here, well that's all I, it's too late till, that's all I had in there. Um, all you end up is with is a little tiny burr on the edge there and the rest is all pretty good, just a light file and it's all off. So it always seems to work pretty good for me and it's, it looks pretty square as well. It's not bad for an old axle. Look at that, it fits like a glove. Got a little tiny bit of clearance this side here. Beautiful. If anything, I might have to shave just a touch off this edge to, as there is a, a mount behind here, part of the casting. I just have to take a touch off that edge so it doesn't clash. Yeah, I think I will, just to be on the safe side.
Okay, so this plate here is the, um, the mounting plate that comes off the grinder and on the bottom of the tool post or the tool table, if you want to call it that. Um, I've come up 30mm from the bottom and centre popped it in the centre. Um, I'm going to use a 10mm bolt or 3 8 bolt and I'm just going to slot it, so drill a hole and slot it. Um, and that'll give me adjustment. So give me up and down adjustment, and give me angle adjustment too. Um, I think it's going to be long enough. I can always make it longer after. So it'll drill a hole and see how it all turns out. Forgot to put it up high enough, down low enough, sorry. Jungle juice. Screw that up. I forgot about that, didn't I? Take two. That is... That was crap. What have I done there? <laughs> That's where we're going wrong. Mm. Oh, well, it's got a hole in it. That's a bonus. Won't be making that mistake again, though. Okay, the slot's in. We see the 10 mil bolt easy. Now I'm tempted, very tempted, to simply weld that to that. Just make sure I get it dead square, dead true, and just um, a small tack of weld, bit of a weld. Not big welds, don't fill it right up, don't warp it. Um, I have got a TIG but I need a bit more practice on that yet before I start diving into doing jobs like this. Um, so I think I'll hit it with a MIG um, and I think it'll I think it'll be okay. Um, I'm a bit worried if I bolt it I may like I might not but I'm a bit worried that it might get a bit of play in it, a bit of movement. It may, I don't think it will, but I just don't take the chance. Um, at least enough if I weld it, I can clamp it square, um, and I think it'll be pretty true. So I think I'll go down that avenue and suck it and see, I suppose, see how it goes.
Oh no. So I've welded the bracket on the bottom. Uh, it's, it's quite rigid actually. It's quite good. Um, very happy with it. Um, slide. Slides very easily. Flush. So um, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. It's more rigid than what I thought it was going to be. Um, there's plenty of clearance on the wheel. Um, and there's no chance for hitting. Okay, off camera I found a little piece of square. Cut off my door. I think it's off the end of that actually. Um, we'll go ahead and drill the hole in it. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is I'll just drill and tap, make a small stud up. Get in the camera there. Drill and tap it, make a small stud up and lock tight the stud into that, into the slide piece. Uh, that'll slide down over top with a small thumb screw on the top of that and that should lock it into place. Um, so I think I can get it so I won't, it'll clear on all angles. Um, so now let's just find a bit of material, hunt through the crap box again. Um, find something to make a small stud out of that's just a five mil hole um, yeah. so I'll get hunting and I'll bring you back when I'm set up in the lathe oh dear. I have found a piece of piece of um no a piece of bolt actually in the scrap bin um, just measuring in it, about eight mil, fraction under. Um, take it down to five, and I'll put a five by 0 0.09 thread on the end of it on each end. Um, yeah, it'll be fraction under five. Actually, so it'll slide over the other, over the, um, the five mil hole I've already, I've already bored in the other piece. But I wanted a fairly good fit. So, I don't know. Now, I apologise about the old lathe. This is fairly noisy. Um, I do have a new one, but I'm just waiting for my shed to get built um, before I can set it up. So, still got to use the old one for now. I'll spread the lathe up so it's mm -hmm. even noisy in here. Fraction under, which is a good thing. It's not a bad fit. Good enough. I oh, know. Cut a thread on that. Uh, both ends. Job's right.
That should give me plenty to go through this little plate and uh, lock it down. Oh yeah, I'll part that off. I'll spin it around. I'll cut the other thread. Um, I'll bring this back in. Should work out beautifully. Bit of Loctite, I'll clean it up, bit of Loctite, and we're, and we're up to making the thumb screw. There we go. Um, I was going to make a thumb screw, but I was looking through all my scrap bins, and um, for the life of me, I can't find a little piece of, um, a little piece of brass. For the life of me, I can't find it. It's got me absolutely buggered where it is. Um, so I've just settled with a um, just a Nylex nut for now. You just it's got a copper washer under it. Sit at the angle you want. Um, never back up again. The other side. Do whatever you want to do. So. Um, I'm not going to dress it all up now because I've got to I've got to square the wheel back up. I'm waiting for a, um, a wheel dresser to turn up. Um, so hopefully once that turns up and I get the wheel dress back square again, I'll I'll um, I'll shoot a little clip on on uh, how it's going to work. Um, yeah, but as for now, it's yeah. It's good as finished. So I hope you've enjoyed the journey. Um, yeah, it's a simple design. Anyone can build it. If I can build it here, anyone can do it. Um, no plans. Just made it up as I went. So it's effective. It's going to work, and uh, that's all I need. Alright, guys. Thanks for coming along, and see us on the next project.